Hi everybody and happy fall. I hope you're enjoying the new month uh, and also welcoming new options, uh, healthier foods, and also nutrients that can help you uh, continue to stay healthy, uh, feel strong and feel your best. So around this time of the year, it is very common to see um, if you go for walks or if you enjoy the outdoors because it's still a rainy, cool season, uh, but there's also still humidity, you can see a lot of mushrooms growing on gardens, uh, but also are very common to find in the supermarket. And they are very fresh, some of them can be local. So if you're not familiar with mushrooms, I wanna share something that is very, very important. And it's something that I personally believe and practice. Uh, and it's a an, an amazing food, not only to uh, prevent, but also to improve your health in general. So uh, mushrooms are number one, very affordable. They're very easy to find and there's different ones. There's many, many, many thousands of different types of mushrooms. Uh, but you don't have to really get very crazy. Uh, just some of the ones that I would recommend are uh, the white button mushrooms, if you can get them organic, uh, even better. And there's another one that I personally like and I use it as chicken, it's called shiitake mushroom. So shiitake mushrooms are amazing, uh, packed with amino acids, they're great for inflammation. And one of the main things and one of the reasons why I think mushrooms are very important, and not only I think, but it's proven by studies, is because they can lower the risk of cancer. Um, and it has been proven that, for, especially for women, um, if you have one mushroom per day, you can lower your risk of cancer by 60%. There's other numbers, there's other studies that you can read about, but it is proven that it's also uh, a superfood that can help you prevent all types of cancer. E, uh, if you don't know much about mushrooms, they are mostly uh, originally cultivated in China and Japan. They were part of the Asian uh, cuisine, but now they're spread out around the world and there's a lot of different ones that are actually accessible for us here in the United States. They are also amazing to protect your cells and because they have potent antioxidants. So they protect your cells, they even allow you to look healthier and younger. They protect your cells so you don't age as fast and they also protect you from, um, you know, just cellular damage. And another thing that is very, very uh, fascinating is that mushrooms are actually kind of like the heart of, um, you know, our, you know, our planet. They, um, you know, keep everything alive uh, and they are also very easy to make and cook. So if you are not familiar with mushrooms, if you have not had mushrooms before, I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that you can incorporate. Uh, all you need is olive oil. Uh, you can use garlic, onions, any type of uh, onion that you like. I'm going to personally use leek. I chopped it up. But if you don't have this, you can use white, uh, white onions, red onions, or garlic. It's up to you. I use all of them, but today I'm going to be using that. Uh, you can also use Himalayan salt and pepper. And of course, you need your mushrooms. So you're going to slice the mushrooms in thin slices, just like this. And they can be stored in a container for up to a week. They can be stored for up to a week and you can use them in many, many different ways. So today I'm going to be making a very simple recipe where you're going to put it in uh, shibata bread and just make like a simple sandwich you can add maybe fresh mozzarella or maybe a non-dairy cheese if you are not um, you know tolerant to uh, to dairy so all you do is you first add the olive oil so you put one tablespoon of oil uh, you then are going to add just sprinkle a little bit you can use one tablespoon of chopped up either onions or um, garlic, a couple of minced, you know, garlic cloves. And you're going to slice the mushrooms and you're going to put it in medium, um, in your stove on a skillet. And it was probably take 
between five to seven minutes to cook. And they should be tender before you eat them. And uh, I do not recommend that you eat raw mushrooms. They are very hard to digest and some of them can even give you um, stomach ache or cramps. So it is recommended, especially if you're new to mushrooms, that you cook them before you eat them. You can also throw them on a salad uh, or maybe on top of rice and just make them a staple on your everyday you know, menus or meals that you prepare. So once the mushrooms are ready, I usually like adding a little bit of olive oil on my bread. I also like Italian seasoning. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning on the bread. And then you're gonna take the cooked mushrooms once they are nice and tender and you can just place them on top of your bread. And like I said, you can add cheese, you can add peppers, you can add anything you want and have a nice, it's almost like a mushroom toast. You can also put avocado or you can make it as a sandwich and enjoy your uh, mushroom toast and start incorporating some of these amazing foods that can help you stay healthy and also improve your health. All right, guys, I hope this was helpful and I hope you get to practice and explore using some of these mushrooms. Have a great day.